What's up everybody, Ninja Nick here with Tactical Gaming bringing you guys a quick little video showing you from the title that you can see my custom CMMG 308 Banshee. I've had this gun for a little over a year now. Well, actually no, almost a year. I got it a little bit over a year ago pretty much, but I love this gun. Do a little safety check. Mag is loaded, but nothing in the chamber. So, CMMG does something really, really cool, which is something that you don't see very many companies do, and that's what I love about them, and I'll do a little bit more of an in-depth video on that, show you the website and everything, but they do a little bit more customization to a gun that you get from them and just to, instead of just a bare-bones gun or whatever else. With CMMG, you can actually choose the make, the model, the caliber, there's so much to it that you can actually make the gun more of your gun and their caliber choices they have everything almost like there might be a few rounds in that they might not have but still really really awesome but this right here is my cmmg 308 banshee rifle has a rip stock so boom those are settable and all that i have a magnifier on there it goes from 1.5 to 5 and a little simple little red dot because this is basically my battle rifle she is sexy and gorgeous this is a queen of the gods Freya got done actually adding a whole bunch more runes on here that I wanted to add I have you know a good mag pool bipod on here I have my whip machine sound mitigation device which is not a silencer I've actually talked about this on my 556 before so it's a little cylinder if you're curious so no ATF bullshit none of those dumbasses you know going oh hey look he has a silencer no not a silencer it literally just shoots the sound forward but love this gun comes with ambidextrous charging handle on it oversized dude this thing's huge like look at that thing like, look, the thing's huge. I love it. But I've had this gun for a while, and uh, now that I actually have it the way I want it, with the Magpul, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Got that eaten not too long ago. But my Magpul pop up iron sights on here on the sides, 45 degrees and all. Uh, my, my little Fiacci red dot, which honestly, really good. But. Great gun. CMMG does a really good job when it comes to the Seracolic choices and everything. So, very great gun. That's all I can really say about it other than, like, shoot smooth. It, yeah, it's heavy because it is a 308. I have a drum mag, which is empty. That goes with it. Oof, just love that. But, Great overall gun. And, I mean, come on now. Look, look at this thing. Put a drum mag on that, baby. Really awesome. So, with this gun, like I said in with, with my uh, 556 video I did, basically, when I get a gun, I always end up designing it to the, the specs of how I'm going to use the gun other than just, oh, hey, going out and shoot. So, this is my urban warfare, like, go into the bush, whatever style gun, considering it is a 308, so you can't hunt with it, but it isn't a full-length 308. It's a 16-inch barrel, so, I mean, it's not super, super long, but it can still hit really far. So, the whole point on the way I designed this gun was I have it for close range when it comes to the just straight out the red dot or the irons, and then when it comes to, oh, hey, someone's, like, a cool... 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 yards or more with this gun, it's still going to be extremely accurate and still have the stopping power it needs to put the person down. Now, this isn't made for like warfare because obviously it's like, hey, you know, when I designed this, this would be like shit hits the fan, you know, economy falls to the point to where, you know, fallout status happens, not nuclear status, but you know, hey, because that'd be just honestly dumb if people want to take over the world but love it it doesn't come with any ambidextrous style stuff other than the charging handle i mean i kind of wish they would have had stuff that was like lefty and righty which is something that 
another gun company uh, did, which is a really, really awesome idea, and kind of hope other companies do the same thing. But, yeah. Love this gun. Honestly, I can't wait to actually go out and uh, show you guys some shooting videos. Weather up here has finally gotten nice to the point to where we can actually go outside and go shooting. It's not super, 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 super cold. And the roads aren't, like, extremely dangerous to where you, like, you know, you can't really drive all that much. Or you're gonna, you know, die. But, gun, overall, when it comes to weight, functionality, and everything else, really good. Pretty light, honestly, when it comes to a full-length 308. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I do suggest checking out. CMMG. I will do an in-depth video on their website. which show you guys the website. Um, not paid by CMMG to do any of this, honestly. I just like, I've never seen any other gun website or company like that put so much detail into the customization of caliber, uh, the actual like mark type, uh, you know, the actual aspects to all the gun that you can change. And, I mean, it does vary from your caliber to caliber and all that. So not every single caliber is going to have every single kind of barrel length. You know what I mean? And or mark number and all that. But depending on how you go about it will also depend. Now, because of the way this gun is, if you notice, it doesn't actually have a stock. This is a brace. You know what I mean? So it is literally kind of considered a pistol, not an actual rifle. Because it literally goes from here to here so I'll go ahead and take this off once again to actually show you guys because I mean with this on there it shows a little bit extra more than what it is but uh, with that off it's still I mean this, this is just a sexy gun that's why I named her Freya the queen of the gods because I mean you know she's she can fuck shit up she really can now if you want something that's like extremely like customizable to the point where it's like feels more of your gun than oh hey a basic AR-15 or anything that you know you just put furniture on it's like oh hey here this makes it to the point where it's more of your gun that's kind of why once I discovered CMMG I liked it I was like hey you know what let's check this out and honestly I do want to get another one of these and I'm either looking at uh, like a 6.5 uh, Rendell and or a 10 millimeter because I don't have either of those and I definitely wouldn't mind having a custom CMMG one of those because why the hell not and they do give you ones in 556 five, you know uh, they give you in 762 they have it in 9 mil 45 ACP 22 long rifle I'll get in depth and I'll show you guys in the next video but this is my battle rifle this is what i have when it comes to oh hey i need something that's gonna do like oomph damage stopping power one to two bullets and that's all it's gonna take five five six does the same thing but this is extremely loud and extremely powerful and honestly even my fiance finds this to be the sexiest gun i have and she's not wrong Definitely love the way I set this gun up between the zoom magnifier, the red dot, the irons, the bipod. And if you haven't noticed, I like Magpul. I really do. Magpul makes great stuff between their mags, their iron sights. You know, all their gear is really, really good. Really, really durable and everything else. Especially for a 308. You don't want to put nothing like too weak or like, you know, kind of cheap on a 308 because, I mean... The pressures that they have, not to mention like the oomph, really, really good. But yeah, now the one thing I don't have is an actual sling for this. I've been kind of considering on doing that, been maybe thinking about changing out the red dot, but then I was like, nah, honestly, like I like this red dot. If I do do that, I'd rather just take off the red dot, the magnifier, and then just put like an LPVO on here and just go from there. But this is basically how I like it. I love this gun. It has all basic internals. I haven't really changed anything on the inside of the gun. I don't really do that with most of my guns. I actually haven't done that with any of my guns because most and all guns that I've gotten so far, I haven't had any issue with the triggers. So, I mean, like, here, I'll show you the take up for it. Uh, 
Like, I mean, like, it's... I'll get closer. Like, it's so, so small. So, so little. So, I mean, honestly, don't need to change the trigger on it. Love it. The bolt in this thing, great. Um, the grip on this thing, really awesome. And honestly, rip brace. Hell yes. Why not? Because, uh... And the best part about these rip braces is you can actually set it to where you want it to stop at, and that's where it's going to stop. So that's very, very, very helpful. And, I mean, also, once again, I'm not paid by uh, this other company, but check out Wit Machine. Like, they make some really cool stuff, and, like, I haven't checked them out in a good minute, but they make them for 308s. They make them for 30-odd 6. I think it's a 3030s and 5.56. But uh, their customer service is really good. If you have any questions, you can actually email them and they will give you all the information you need. Same thing with CMMG. They have really great customer service. Now, when I did order this gun, um, it did take about six months for me to get it. But it was just primarily because they had so many orders. They're so backlogged. And um, anytime I had a question about where my gun was or what was going on or the process, they were really polite, really cordial, and very professional. So loved it. So always keep that in mind. And here's another thing. These guns are not cheap. When I bought this, I got it for a little over $1,900. And that was just like none of this stuff on here. They just give you the gun. They don't give you very much of anything else. So keep that in mind and it does depend on like the mark the barrel length Cerakote because they give you multiple colors of Cerakote that you can choose from and barrel lengths so depending on what model you get and what caliber you get and all that you'll be looking at I think the lowest was 1400 ish all the way up to 1900 ish so um, not a cheap gun but you know, I'll just show you the website probably like either later today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But I've already got all that stuff written out and everything to show you, so yeah. But they do have a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I'll go over the calibers. All right, I wrote this shit down because it's like they have like every caliber you can think of. 22 Long Rifle, 300 Blackout, 300 Wind Mag, 300, uh, 350 Legend, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, 4.6 by 30 five five six to five five six by four five five uh seven to uh by twenty eight six point five creedmoor six point five grendel six millimeter arc seven six two by thirty nine nine mil and ten mil that is a lot of calibers that they give you uh barrel lengths will range from four point five all the way up to twenty four platforms multiple platforms like the mark numbers they have multiple platforms and it just depends on like the caliber that you choose and the barrel length um gun type mainly it's just a pdw personal defense weapon and it's mainly because they all come like mostly all of them depending on whether you get the banshee line or one of the other ones will come with a rip brace not a stock rip brace but you can also always just buy their their actual rifles that they you know are pre-set up and everything that would be a lot, probably a lot quicker of a process than customizing the gun the way you want it when it comes to color and all that. And then finish, they literally have armor black. They have charcoal green, which was a very interesting looking color. It didn't really look too charcoaly to me, but a very interesting color. Uh, Coyote tan, midnight bronze, which is what my gun is, is midnight bronze, and it looks gorgeous. Sniper gray and titanium. Like, at one point in time, they had uh, Stormtrooper white. And I didn't see that on there, but at the same time, I didn't go through every single caliber and look at all the barrel lengths and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, that's a – titanium oh, is pretty close, just a little bit off. And then charcoal green was one they didn't have before, and they actually had bazooka green. And honestly, they're almost pretty, pretty close, except bazooka green was a slight darker. But, yeah, I just highly suggest you guys checking out CMMG. They do great, great stuff when it comes to uh, their customizations and everything else. And sorry about that, my thing just decided to hit my remote. This remote's so slight. Okay, but yep, I would say that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everyone actually, you know, checks out CMMG and orders some of their guns because uh, 
highly suggest it because they're really great guns, great reliability, and they have just recently kind of changed up things on how like most of the internals work because it's a internal blowback system. So like the way it works on the internals is a little different. And that also does depend on the caliber type and all that other kind of stuff you choose. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope everyone has a great day, great night, great evening, all that great stuff. You know what I mean? Catch me for the next one. Later.